morning everyone i am back in new zealand and i am heading out on my first adventure apparently the weather's been absolutely horrible up here in auckland for the last month and today looks like there's a slight window so i'm going to take the chance we're going to head out i'm joining a couple of boys out on the water and we're going to head to one of the local spots and we're going to see what we can do today we've got a plan i've got a new lure i need to try out and it's a top water lure something i haven't done much of but i'm super stoked about it and i'm hoping to bring you guys along on this adventure to get my first kingfish on a top water lure so let's see how we go let's go all ready to go rod set up straps off awesome view and it is glassy out there i just hope it stays like that Look at that, look at that face focusing. Focus. <laughs> G'day guys, welcome back to another video. We are heading to a local spot today. It's somewhere where I have, I've never launched here before. It's the first time I launched here. It's actually a pretty good spot. So we're going to head out um, to one of the local spots, 25-30 minutes away and uh, yeah, we're just going to go try and catch a fish. I've got a goal, I've got a couple of, I've got a new lure that I really really want to try. I want to get a kingfish on top water, so let's see what we can do. But anyway, if you're new to this channel and you like jet ski fishing videos or just fishing videos in general, consider subscribing because we've got heaps of action coming your way. But anyway, let's get out there and we'll bring you guys along with us. Snap on the jig, dropping the mango tanga jack flash, 60 gram. It's only about 20, it's 26 meters deep here, so not too deep. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Good fish. On the mango tango. Feels like a snap. Nice snap. There we go. There we go, guys. First little snap. He's going straight in the bin. I want some fresh fish for dinner. I just saw a massive kingy jump out in front of us, so I'm going to quickly scoot over and I've got my top water, top water set and I've got a big boy lure on, like that, called the Great White. Might have actually just cast that out the back and trawl as I'm heading over because there might be some kingies here, guys. It's on! Good luck 
Look at the first one, so I'm gonna try another one. Just having a nosy around these rocks over here. See if we can see a king in the water or maybe something. There's a lot of current dripping through here. The water's not very clear though. Hey, good day, mate. <laughs> I didn't even see you there. There's another one on the rocks over there. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's cast this big boy around. See what happens. Yeah, Kingy, Kingy! Followed it, followed it right to the ski and then turned away. Alright guys, change the colour. Another big boy lure. Let's see if that works. on it It's so damn hot. I've had so many follows on the lure, but the man, every time they try and grab it, they just miss it. So I'm going to restart this drift quick, give it a couple more casts because I am determined to get a kingy. And they're definitely following the, yeah, there are some nice ones in between as well. So hopefully we can get one. Um, I'm gonna go try a different spot. Kingies are not playing ball here, so I'm gonna head over that way. I might cast a few lures at the top of that island over there. Let's see if we can get anything. Let's go, let's see what happens. What is that, Steven? What is that? Hey, what is that in the water there? Hey? What, what have you been catching? Hey? <laughs> oh, there's nothing on the rod. There's nothing. You sure? Oh, look at that.
Alright guys, we're going to call it today. Hope you guys enjoyed this trip. Although we didn't have a lot of success, it was just awesome to get back on the water and the forecast is still really good. So we should have a really nice ride back in and we will see you guys at the boat trip. Unless anything exciting happens on the way back. Alright guys, I'm quickly going to fill up that slap up that I got today and uh, we're going to do a bit of a cook up. There we go, there's the snap we got. Not a bad little fish. Perfect sauce for dinner. Going to get this done quick, um, get the skin off and then we're going to chuck that straight in the pan. You guys have seen me do this a couple of times but I'll just run you through it again. So get a nice sharp knife. This one's not very sharp anymore. Go in just behind the fin over there. Work your way to the head and then I like to go right into the head because there's a lot of meat in there. I don't like wasting. And then slowly make your way down the spine of the fish, just outlining the fish basically. Just like that. Don't have the best knife here, but that's alright. And then when you get there, go all the way through. And you cut that out. Then what I do is I lift the skin and I go with the knife all along the skeleton of the fish, separating the flesh from the bone. There you go. And in this part here, a lot of people do it different in different ways. A lot of people go either through the rib cage and then take the whole stomach out. I like to go over the top of the rib cage. So there's pin bones there you need to cut through. So just cut through those, just like that you have a perfect fillet. Quickly do the other side, there you go, two beautiful fillets. I'll set this aside, just in there, quickly get the skin off these bad boys. To skin the fillets, so what you do is you cut into the flesh till you get to the skin and then you hold the skin and basically push your knife flat and then just give it a wiggle hold the knife still and give the fillet a wiggle and then look at that all the skin off and you're left with a perfect fillet look at that let's do the other one quick now the last thing you want to do is before you eat your fillet you'll feel right in the middle there's a few pin bones so you can feel where they end so that's the last one there so what I do is you cut as close as you can to that one all the way down and then on the other side all the way down there we go and there you have it cut them into like bite-sized pieces 
I'm gonna use a product from Fog Dog. It's called Shake and Bake. So basically, it's just a mix of um, spices and blends. It's basically just a mix of flour and spice blends. Um, basically, you can just chuck all your pieces in there, and it is ready to go. And then you close it up. Give it a bit of a shake. Shake and bake. Let's give it a nice shake till all the pieces are coated. Here we go. That's what that looks like. So what we're going to do, we're going to let that sit. We're going to let that sit for about um, five minutes before going on the pan. So bring you guys over to the cooking station and let's get some oil in the pan. Perfect. Get this one. Till the whole area is lined basically. That's perfect. Right, that should be hot enough now. So just put a couple of pieces in. And that won't take long at all. As soon as you can see the flesh is, all, is white all the way through, then you know it's ready. I'm happy with those. Man guys, if only you could smell this. It smells amazing. This is probably the easiest way to cook up fish and it's delicious. I have to do a taste test. Mm. Mm. How good does that look? Amazing. Mm. That's so good. So good. Alright guys, I'm going to get stuck into this. Just want to say again, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my videos. It's been awesome making these video videos for you guys and I plan on making a lot more for you guys. If you like this video, hit like or leave a comment and let us know what you think. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit subscribe because, man, we've got a lot of adventures coming your way. But anyway, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers.